Hi guys, this is Minakshi Bhatt. You're welcome on my channel. Today we will learn the 10 golden rules of GMP, our good manufacturing practices. You can use these rules to drive your day-to-day -day operations, keeping them in mind whenever you make decisions that have GMP implications. So what are these golden rules? Our golden rule first is get the facility design right from the start. It's much easier to do GMP compliant if our design and construction of the facility and equipment are correct from the start and if it is not then what you will do sometime you need to step back and reconsider the whole production area such as your uh, facility layout a logical and well-planned layout will always improve productivity. Second is our environment. Make sure that we are providing proper lighting, temperature, humidity and ventilation. This all environmental condition should be appropriate for our good productivity, for our GMP compliance. Your interior surface, wall, floor, ceiling, this must be smooth, free from cracks and do not shed particulate matter. Remember that your interior surface of your facility, of your plant are easy to clean. Now that third part is your equipment our design locate and maintain equipment these should be appropriate it should be easy to repair and maintain suitable for its intended use not reactive additive or absorb and calibration should be there in particular frequency now our rule number golden rule number two is validate process how do you ensure that it's operated in a controlled manner this is where validation comes into play to prove that equipment and process consistently do what they are supposed to do guys here some testing and documentation are required and collectively this called validation here this is the our definition this is a standard definition of validation so our validation this include installation qualification iq here we verify that the equipment the instrument what we installed correctly then OQ, their operation, we are operating it correctly and PQ, performance qualification which is testing to verify that our product can be consistently be produced to specification and in this part, in our validation part, change control system should be in place to document all the changes which are related to our facilities, our equipments or process that may have an impact on our product quality. And yes, remember that you should evaluate the impact of the change control. Right? Now, here we come our golden rule number three, which is write good procedures and follow them. Uh, guys, we described this part in a, in my previous uh, in my previous upload, which was related to GDP good documentation practices. So, procedure should be clear, concise, and logical. 
your documentation requirement are your specification operating instruction your operating procedure or records this all should be clear concise and logical you always write good procedure so here the question is what are good procedures remember guys that people we we don't usually read procedures from its start to finish we tend to scan the document for its keywords we always find some keywords and complete this so Mm, your good procedures could be like you you must break the procedures into some chunks you can use headings you can use tables bullet points and some diagrams these are our chunks of documents then our next golden rule number 4 identify who does what all employees should clearly understand what they have to do each day you should create a job description for each role to define their job title job objective due to responsibility skill requirement all should be there whenever any new employee coming first of all you need to create this thing the job description document for that create an organizational chart and display it yes here it is also vital that employees are trained to undertake a task that they are assigned responsibility to they are not allowed just to perform the activity without training now we will cover over this point training point in our rule number 6 in our father's light here is our golden rule number 5 keep good records yes we already talked about documentation procedure it is essential part of gmp to keep accurate records and during an audit it helps convey that you are following procedures it also demonstrate that processes are known and under control guys remember this thing this is a thumb rule of our gdp of our gmp if it is not written down then it did not happen and retention requirement should be there you should keep records for every stage of manufacturing process so what are these records what are these documents this could be your product master records your batch records bmrs bprs personal records training records equipment logs cleaning log ample of documents are there this all are our document our records now golden rule number 6 train and develop staff training to meet gmp requirement it is essential to have the right people to do right Sure. This include basic training on the theory and practice of GMP as well as specific training related to their role, which we describe in our previous slide. It's also important to ensure that training requirements are highlighted as part of the change control system. such as if we install a new piece of equipment then employee must know how to use it training is required here secondly you should check that training is complete during validation right yes here is our golden rule number 7 practice good hygiene nowadays globally all are suffering from covid 19 and hygiene is not just into pharmaceutical it is everywhere it is required everywhere in pharma we need to develop a program to meet the standards of cleanliness necessary for the product so all this practice good personal hygiene by washing your hands and wearing the required protective garments minimize your contact with product 
or product contact surface and equipment. Never eat, drink, smoke or chew in manufacturing area. This is not at all acceptable. Golden rule number 8. Maintain facility and equipment. So, maintenance record. GMP require you to keep accurate record relating to your maintenance activities. So, you must maintain the record which tell us when the equipment was last used, what is was used for, when it was cleaned, when it was last inspected or repaired and when it was last calibrated. Your log must tell all these questions. Golden Rule 9. Design quality into the whole product life cycle. Every step in the product life cycle require effective control to assure product quality. So, what are the life cycle? Here are four critical areas. Controlling components, all material and components must be approved prior to release for manufacturing or if they are rejected, unfortunately rejected, they must be identified and stored in a secure area to prevent accidental use. Second is our controlling and manufacturing process. Your master record specification all should be in place. Third is packaging and labeling control, which is critical. Packaging and labeling are areas where mix-up and error occurs. So, before a new batch, a lot is processed, inspect packaging and labeling areas to ensure that it contains no material from a previous batch. Fourth stage is holding and distribution control. The company must have control against contamination, mix-up and errors. Provide separate area for quarantine and finish product testing. Now, golden rule number 10, here it is, perform regular audits. Audit must be conducted to assess whether you are following GMP rules. So, there are external bodies such as FDA, Food and Drug Administration, PGA, Therapeutic Good Administration, USFDA, MHRA, a lot of number of lab regulatory audits. These are external bodies will conduct these audits. And along with this, you should also conduct in-house audits or self-inspection to ensure GMP compliance. You will need a corrective action, preventive action, CAPA system to manage and fix anything found during an audit. So guys, this were the 10 golden rule of GMP. Thank you for choosing us and please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you.